All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode of Stock Clock Sunday. My name is Albert LaBelle, and I am a lock junkie. That's right, I got so many locks, and I just want more. Um, okay, so this time around, uh, this is another uh, padlock I picked up uh, when I was on CLK Supplies. I get a lot of my stuff from them, pins, springs, I mentioned it before. I did a, uh, another padlock I got from them not too long ago, a few videos back, called the, uh, I think it was the Gino, G-I-N-O. They also carry these. This is a Hudson. Now, uh, these are not, th these only cost a couple bucks. These are in no way, shape, or form labeled as or tried to be sold as any kind of high security lock. It's your basic, basic padlock where uh, you just need to uh, kind of secure something and you don't want to spend a lot of money. This is your lock. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, basic, basic lock. Um, so, you know, something I might put on, say, a little small toolbox just to keep people honest, uh, maybe a, a locker, something like that, just to keep people honest, but that's it. They don't make no claims on here about no kind of, you know, nine out of ten, none of that kind of stuff. Basic. Okay, I think we cleared that up. Features, hardened steel shackle, double assurance, which is, it locks on both sides, layered steel body. A uh, solid brass cylinder, plastic border, and two keys. Plastic border, two keys. All right, so let's see what it takes to pick into this, and then maybe we can see if we can uh, manipulate it or something. Have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, so let's see. Let's cut into this bad boy. How are we doing on the camera over here? Let's go. I guess that's fine. We'll see how we do. Let's cut this bad boy open right here. Oh, I love these shears. They paid for themselves the first time I opened one of these, uh, what do they call them, clamshells or blister packs or something? Clamshells, I think they're called. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, love it when they do that. Said the sarcastic lock picker. All right, so it's pretty hard to get the key off of that. All right, so it does lock on both sides, it looks like. I can tell you by going like this. Yep. You can usually tell if, I mean, you can obviously see that one, but if there's one on this side and you turn the key, it'll usually uh, show you on that shackle. It'll loosen up, meaning that locking pole on that side is letting go. So it's a good way to tell it is locking on that side. And it does look like, I don't know, maybe they're, they're rounded. The locking poles are not the traditional type. Let me see if I can get the camera up in that hole. They look rounded. So we might have a small chance of shimming that. Let me see how much room is in there. Oh, we'll give it a shot. Let's see if we can't pick it open first, though, for, uh, whoa. Let's see if we can get the key out first. Are you kidding me? Okay. Wow. Okay, I did say it was a cheap lock, but... Seems like it's getting caught up on the, uh, caught up. It's probably, uh, they didn't clean the, uh, cuts off very well. Sometimes they'll grab. So, yeah, pretty bad there. Definitely, uh, and look how flat that bidding is. <laughs> uh, that's pretty bad. So let's, let's see if we can't pick it and then maybe we can have a little bit of fun with it. All right. Bada boom, bada bang. Get some of this trash out of the way. And we're going to try with Top of Keyway. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I don't know if that's going to fit. Maybe not. Looks like that'll fit. So let's see if we can't pop it. 
Uh, let's use one of these Praxis again. Seem to be on a roll with them. Praxis, uh, I guess, a medium hook. Looks like it'll fit good in there. Let's see what it takes. Am I right in the camera? There we go. All right. I'm right behind that tension wrench. I think I'm I think I'm on the pin. Let's go back through. Very I don't know if it's got security pins in this or not. It could be. No, it does not, because I just overset that and it felt real smooth. So let's go back through. Let's go. I get that tension wrench out of the way. Let's go. One. Let's go. Two. Let's go. Three. I don't think it might be that one behind the tension wrench. Right there. Okay. One, two, three, four. There we go. One behind the tension wrench. That one will always get you. All right. So, not bad little lock. Um, so, let's see if we can't, uh, let's see if we can't shim that. I'm not sure anything's really going to fit. There's not a whole lot of space, but hey, if we can have a little bit of fun, I'm all for it. Get some of this stuff out of the way again. And let's see what we got here. Let's see. Let me take a peek real quick. How far down were those? Not very far. Okay, so we don't have to use real long ones, but we do need something that matches the radius of this diameter uh so let's see looks a little too big but let me try it anyway okay so that fit around there real good so let's see that fits pretty good there we go so it is shimmable Absolutely. Uh, nice. And uh, you know what? Since we can pick it and we can shim it, just for the heck of it, let's try one more thing. Now, I'm not very good at this, but I'm going to try it anyway. Looks like that'll fit. Let's try. Let me grab the comb. And break. Let's see if I can't just maybe zip it. Kind of do one of these. That's not fitting too good. Let me try the... Uh, let me try a shorter one. Well, it's not going to zip very good. One last try with the city right just for fun. If I can get in there. There we go. So, single pin picked, shimmed, and 
basically zipped open with a city rig. So again, not a very high security lock. They don't make no claims that it is. They only cost a few bucks. So uh, again, maybe something for a small uh, toolbox, a locker, something like that. Other than that, uh, I wouldn't put the Hudson on nothing too expensive. All right, so that'll wrap up this episode of Stock Lock Sunday. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And to my new subscribers, you are awesome. I hope I can get you to stick around. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Give me some love. All right, that'll do it. Big Al, signing off.